Hey Tribe, it's Gavin Syme here, and today I'm gonna show you Elegance 4. This one's been a long time coming, and it brings in all of the new features, the new mask features in the latest versions of Lightroom. We've taken the Elegance brushes or the local adjustment presets that have made up Elegance for so long, and first of all, revamped those, made them better, more refined. But what we've really done to take it to the next level and make this an essential kit to really dominate your masks in Lightroom is the new Elegance 4 Speed Masks. The Speed Masks are gonna blow you away because these here combine then with all the tools in the mask panel. So I can come to an image like this and say, hey, it looks good, I've applied my preset, but it needs a great sky. I can go to Elegance 4 Speed Masks and just go straight down, just scroll over like I would any other develop preset and say, no, let's do the sky blue combo and boom, it instantly applies all of those masks and those are gonna show up right here in the mask panel. You then can select those, control those. You can, of course, just like you always could, tweak with the sliders manually, and you could take any of those and apply another look to it. So I could say, hey, I like the sky blue a lot, but I was going for more of a warm sky look. Okay, great. Go down to elegance brushes, just like we've always used, and let's just switch that mask to something like the Warm Sunset Painter, and instantly we transform that sky to something completely different. And Elegance 4 is actually now two preset packs that are included. And by the way, if this seems like it might be a little confusing, don't worry. I'm showing you an introduction here of what you can do with Elegance, but I'm gonna include free a complete Mask Pro workshop so you can really understand how to use the new mask panel system in Lightroom and how to use it with Elegance 4 to just make it incredibly fast. So I can come in here and do things so much easier, so much faster with just a click. I can take this photo, for example, that looks pretty good. It was taken in difficult lighting. I've applied some develop presets to, to work with that, to balance that out. But I can say, no, I need to do something more with this harsh light on a local level. Well, guess what? I'm just gonna go to the harsh light tools right here and I'm gonna apply the harsh light strobe level one or level two. Let's just go with level two in this case. And boom, just like that, we have balanced that light out even more. Now, also in Elegance 4, we really take on the AI tools. As you go through Elegance 4, you'll see on one side, you have the traditional local adjustment presets better than ever in Elegance. But then you're gonna come in combining those with the Elegance 4 speed masks. And the speed masks just letting you quickly apply the masks, stack the masks, and then come over if you want to, if you need to, and edit those. And you're also gonna see great integration with the new AI tool. So I can go here, for example, and say, no, let's apply the Portrait Beauty Combo AI. And you can see that as a combo, up here, we've applied three different masks, but not a lot has changed. Why? Well, because this is the AI. We just click these and you can see the exclamation mark and it says we need to update. I'm gonna update the AI mask for behind the subject and that's gonna improve our skies in this scene, which seem really white and blown out, but there's a lot we can actually do with it. And then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna apply the subject AI and that's gonna improve our subject, we can control skin softening, all of that kind of stuff. As soon as these masks are applied, I can then apply any tool that I want and I can say, no, I don't need to increase the exposure. I'm gonna play with my sliders a little bit, but you can see the default works pretty good. Our model looks great. All we really need to do is something with that sky. So I'm gonna select my behind subject and instead of just the default settings here, I'm just gonna to go to the elegance adjustment and let's do something like a blue sky painter to really bring something back into that sky. Or we could do any other variable that we wanted to like the bland sky fixer and then combine that with a little bit of exposure reduction to really bring it back. I could apply the blue sky combo to this and it's gonna apply extra masks on top of this to make it even more intense. And you can see we went from here to here in just a couple of clicks. Speed masks, they come over and you can use those even outside of Lightroom Classic. It means you can load the Elegance 4 speed masks in Lightroom Web and apply them there. And that means they're gonna sync to Lightroom Mobile 
and you're gonna have total control over your masking so you don't have to manually build all those masks in Lightroom Mobile. Yes, you can come into Lightroom Mobile, load up a photo, and on your phone or tablet, you can actually apply these advanced masking techniques and it's gonna make masking so much easier on the mobile because you're gonna just be able to come in and you can see here that as you load up a mask, you apply a speed mask preset from Elegance 4, it's gonna load all the masks for you and then if you wanna tweak around and adjust them, you can. And honestly, it's a little bit of a pain to build masks on the mobile, but with speed masks in Elegance 4, it just does the heavy lifting for you. You're also going to be able to come in to Photoshop Camera Raw and apply those same speed masks now because those are developed presets. So we have our local adjustment presets over here on one side, the classic Elegance brushes, combining those over on the other side with the new Elegance 4 speed masks in the develop presets to make everything easy and fast. What you're gonna find as soon as you come in to Elegance 4 is it just make masks, see, makes masking. It makes being a mask pro easy. I'm gonna go in depth on all the things you can do with masks, how to use them, and more importantly, how to make them super easy using Elegance 4 in the full workshop that I'm gonna include in the download of Elegance 4. But the bottom line is here, you should be using masks in Lightroom. They're amazing, they're powerful. And with Elegance 4, you're gonna combine the power of the quick local adjustment brush settings better than ever in Elegance 4 with the new included speed mask tools. So you can integrate that right into your develop process and apply as many masks and tweaks as you need in just a few clicks. I'm Gavin Sign. this is Elegance 4. Give me a shout out if you have any questions. I know I didn't do this video with a lot of frills or a lot of crazy stuff because Elegance 4 is simple. Masking in Lightroom isn't always simple, but it should be. And that's why you need Elegance 4. You want masks to be easy, right? Well, now they are. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.